All right, so I'm still trying to get the buttons down. Details pretty good. Nice ads. I'm really unsure where to go. Push forward, climb up that ledge, of course. Jump across. I had a feeling I'd beat you here. Remember, youth always prevails. Okay. Are you near his location? My route is blocked. They may be some time to reach him. Can I get him? Where'd he go? Oh my god, there's another one! I gotta finish off this one though. Alright, where is he? Where is he? Oh, shit. Wait, was that two? Got him. I slew most of them. The last one got away. Hey, Grain, I need your arm. Come. I'll head up to street level and keep after him. You two go that way and head him off. Understood.
Where'd he go? Where'd he go? I see him. Ah, damn it. We need to press forward. Yes. Percival, we've neutralized the threat on our side. Good. I managed to capture one of the half-breeds. Rendezvous back at Regent. Acknowledge. Let's go. Westminster to the catacombs. We'll deal with him later. Ah, Sir Percival. I thought the Order of Her Majesty's Royal Knights might be mixed up in this affray. We had reason to suspect a rebel incursion, Commissioner. An elementary conjecture. In that event, perhaps this might be of interest. Whitechapel. Uh, purely circumstantial, of course. I call it evidence. Well, circumstantial evidence can be a tricky animal, my dear Sir Percival. You may think it is pointing at one thing, but shift your point of view slightly and you may find it pointing in an equally uncompromising manner at something entirely different. Please, indulge me with your musings, Commissioner. Well, first the rebellion, and then this Jack and the Ripper murders, mm -hmm. and then this. Strange, don't you think, that Whitechapel has become the epicenter of our recent conundrums? We must examine every clue now, you see? We meet in council two days hence. If you would do us the honor of presenting your findings. You can expect me at Westminster. Over here, sir. Do excuse me. Where have you been? Bloody London traffic. Mon général, what of the other half-breeds that escaped through Hyde Park? We must pursue them. No. Mais notre devoir est de les poursuivre, monsieur. Marquis. Nous ne chassons pas des Anglais sur le nouveau continent. Votre témérité sera requis à un moment opportun. Oui, mon général. I will be governed by your advice. I'm sure you will appreciate that for the time being, this must remain a police matter. Of course. Something's amiss. The underworld in Whitechapel is known to give safe harbor to the rebellion. That's precisely what troubles me. Why would so many half-breeds be found in Bedlam? Some things we need to find out for ourselves. You heard, Commissioner Doyle. It's a police investigation now. Knights do not relinquish their authority to bureaucrats. Percival is right. This matter should be brought before the Council. Centuries have passed. But our order has remained steadfast in its sacred mission to preserve the balance between man and half-breed. Such was the quest of our founder, King Arthur. May his name be forever resplendent. Is it true? Did the Lord Chancellor fight by Arthur's side? That is the legend. Today, that balance is threatened with grave upset by a new contagion, the rebellion. As long as its campaign of anarchy and terror is allowed to continue. The plague of lichen infestation that has infected our city will only grow more intolerable. Well, the Lord Chancellor will thus agree to the urgency of a mission into Whitechapel. Whitechapel is a matter for the civil authorities. When the noble Arthur sought to contest for truage with the Roman Emperor Lucius, he did not trouble himself with issues of jurisdiction. Do not presume to quote history to me, Sir Percival. I've seen more of history than you shall ever know. I remind the knights here assembled that the threat to this order comes not only from without, 
but within. We must stand vigilant together. Lest our ranks be poisoned by those who seek the destruction of all we hold sacred. No one is immune from the rebel's influence. Surely the Lord Chancellor does not mean to question Sir Percival's loyalty. This order has long appreciated Sir Percival's counsel. But the current disruption calls for caution and concerted effort, not rash action. Sir Percival has cause, Lord Chancellor. The situation in Whitechapel may need to be addressed. Does Lord Darwin speak with the blessing of the peers? Lord Hastings, Lord Dunglass. He does, Lord Chancellor. Perhaps the question should be put to the Council. Very well. What says the order of Her Majesty's royal knights in the matter of Whitechapel? Aye or nay? Nay. nay. The nays have it. This council is dismissed. Our order grows too prudent, Grayson. We wither away from this inaction. Leave it, Sebastian. Caution be damned. Sir Percival is most agitated. You should learn it is best not to cross him when his mind is set on something. What do you make of this? Sir Percival seems intent on pursuing his investigation. Hmm. You heard the Lord Chancellor. The council will not stand. You cannot deny that there is some truth to what Percival has said. Need I remind you of your place, Lady Egwene? Who are you to question the council's wisdom? Yes, Lord Chancellor. All right, I guess we're not doing anything there. Alright, so it's blocking me, so I have to go around. We seldom have time to sit and wait if the rebels are behind this. The council has made its ruling. There is nothing more to discuss, Isabel. We should at least gather some intelligence. The authorities will see to that. Father, the order cannot stand if Captain Firebird has come to the main street. You cannot deny that there is some truth to what Captain I wonder who does the housework in here, goodness. I have a more pressing matter to attend, as you wish. How many of us will make the journey to America? Oh, uh, Lord Barrett, Lord Darwin, and myself. I've heard many great things about the Agamemnon, Lord Hastings. Oh, she is the finest the United India Company has ever built. I can promise you a pleasant and speedy journey across the Atlantic. Can we expect your presence at the launch? Sir Lucan. It would be my honor to see you off on your maiden voyage, my lords. Sir Lucan, if I may. Um, if you would permit me, my lords. Of course, Sir Percival. Alistair, you know as well as I do that Whitechapel is the key to these disturbances, to everything. My opinion is immaterial. The Council has spoken. Few dared countermand your father's express wishes. Need I remind you that we all serve at the Lord Chancellor's pleasure? You are the Knight Commander! Make him see reason. You think an incursion into a rebel stronghold is reasonable? I consider it an acceptable risk. One for which you'd be willing to accept full responsibility should unforeseen circumstances arise. Let what befalls be upon my head, no one else's. Whitechapel remains off limits. That is officially. You have my thanks, Sir Lucan. Of your thanks, I have no need. Bring me results. As the Knight Commander wishes. Well, we're going in. Most excellent. When do we move? You're not talking about Whitechapel. But my Your brother sought fit to permit us a reconnaissance. Secure the necessary materials. Isabeau, a word. Tell me, monsieur. About the Lord Chancellor. 
What is it, Marquis? Sir Lucan and Lady Egraine were adopted by him, yes? Yes, they were. Why would he bring them into such struggle? Perhaps he wanted to regain a semblance of the humanity he lost. When time came to join the Order, the choice was theirs to make. Regardless, I would not wish this life on my children. Marquis, we need to hurry. Oui, mon général. Avec plaisir. Monsieur. Friend Mallory has always been something of a rogue operative. I've never known a better man. Still. I shall rely on you to be a... call it a sobering influence. Sebastian and I have long been partners. I trust him with my life. A little restraint would not be ill-advised. Huh. Do look after my sister, won't you? No man in the realm can keep Isabeau from danger when she's of a mind. No, you say true. What's a brother to do, eh? Good luck and Godspeed. Always at your service, Sir Gallagher. This way, please. Ah, oh, Tesla. Just the man. All right, we're not going in there. What new developments do you have to show me? Quite a few intriguing things, if I may say so. Any further news of the uh, trouble in Grosvenor Square? Police are investigating. And investigating. Lycans, on the United India Company's front doorstep, what do you make of it? Mayfair isn't what it used to be. Permit me to oversee a few of my new experiments. Uh, in the meanwhile, take a look around, uh, play with whatever strikes your fancy, but do be careful. All right. <clears throat> All right, hold L2 and use R to focus on details and identify distant objects. All right. Nicola, how fares your friend Edison these days? Thomas and I are not on speaking terms. The man is an idiot. <laughs> it's cool they have Thomas Edison and Tesla as enemies in this. Is it still showing because I missed something on it or because pretty funny. Definitely a nice engine. Hard to believe we ever use these communicators. Pretty cool. Shooting range. Oh, look at that sniper rifle. Stunning. 
start with the 18 and page space line. I thought that I did Explorer's Lab. But that's enough. So it is. We proceed as it can. Yes, sir. I'll continue. Thank you, sir. Uh, Sir Galahad, please, this way. Here is something you may find interesting. This device allows you to convert between Edison's inefficient direct current and my superior alternating current. Quite handy for overloading and incapacitating certain electrical systems. It's comprised of an inverter, transformer, and rectifier outfitted with some brass clips to enhance the design. Oh, and a fine leather carrying case. Uh, inside each tube is a small quantity of mercury. When the mercury is properly aligned, the device becomes operation. Please, try it. All right, so click and hold. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, man. It can be a bit difficult. Ah. You never cease to amaze, Nicola. I'd appreciate your expert opinion on my latest whimsy. S684 Marksman Carbine. Impressive. You've always had a good eye for craftsmanship. I've outfitted this one with a telescopic sight. It's ideal for long-range shooting. I would be honored if uh, you would test its efficacy. With pleasure. All right, look over the object. Nicely balanced. Good shot. Some muffling might be in order as well. I'll attend to it immediately. So, are there any other of my children that you would like to meet? The offer's tempting. But I must return to the others. Of course. Oh, the monocular that General Lafayette requested is over there on the table. I'll see that he gets it. We scour the district in pairs. Isabeau, you and Lafayette take the high street from the south end. Galahad and I will move in from the north. Why not give the Frenchman to Galahad? Mademoiselle doubts my intentions. I promise to remain at all times the picture of chivalry. I'd prefer to have someone more experienced looking out for me. I thought you needed no looking after. Very well. You team with Galahad. Mademoiselle will perhaps one day allow me to demonstrate my skill. One day? Remember. We are entering rebel territory. The insurgents will take umbrage at our incursion into Whitechapel. Given our little discovery in Mayfair, the London Hospital should be our target. Strange to think Lycans would find sanctuary here, is it not, monsieur? You really believe the rebels are collaborating with the half-breeds? The Lord Chancellor is convinced of it. I have my doubts. Do you trust anyone, Mon General? Never accept, always question. It's a motto that's seen me through the centuries. Stay vigilant, all of you. We can expect hot work here. Ah, quelle joie! 
nest of cut purses, collaborators, and whoremongers. I knew it very differently once. A lone chapel stood just there, offering sanctuary to travelers. That was before even my time. The city walls had yet to come up. Now you can smell white chapel. Nothing is as it used to be, Sebastian. True. The order, least of all. We rendezvous at the hospital. Stay on your guard. Understood. This way, monsieur. The ashes are still warm. A stuck pig, that one. Doesn't look good. He ain't getting up. Stay down, you stupid git. Strange place. Right? <clears throat> Trying to figure out where to go. They tell you England is making progress. What's all this progress brought to? Hideous slums, some no more than crannies of obscure misery. Long hours in factories, only to be paid a pittance and told by your masters to be grateful for a few bob a week. Children work to the bone in the Black Haller coal mines while the captains of industry feast from silver bowls. Is this the England we want? No! What must we do? We've been spotted. Let's move. That's right. Brothers and sisters, fight! Join our cause! Down with the Queen! Down with the Queen! Down with Empire! Down with the Queen! I swear! Down with Empire! Down with the Queen! She's dead because of you! <laughs> <laughs> Didn't care to dirty your aristocratic hands. A 
It's all right. There's no need to be afraid. How could I have known he was a ripper? He was just another bloke. He killed another one last night. I didn't know. Leave her be, monsieur. I didn't, didn't know. Stop. Don't worry. You're safe now. We should head through this door. Assault on Mayfair. I'm going up the stairs. Here's the bean. Alright, so I held L2 to drive the air into the cylinder. Alright, while holding L2, slowly rotate R, R until the vibration diminishes at the sheer line. Oh, okay, okay. I see, I see, I see. Alright. Alright, I get it now. You gotta get it on that line at the top. Weapons allowed in the establishment. You want to stay? You leave it here. Bien sûr, monsieur. As a matter of fact, we were just looking for the coat closet. Give it here. And a fun governor. At ease, monsieur. A quick reconnaissance of the premises seems imperative. <laughs> huh. We're at a brothel. Come on now. Don't be shy. Um, I, uh, I'm in no hurry. Ooh, la la. Well, um, I, well, I, I, it's your first time, isn't I, it? Uh, yes, ma'am. That's quite all right, love. We'll take this. Join me upstairs, here. love. Sure. Another time. I can show you things you've never seen before. I don't doubt it. You're Is it that obvious? Stupid bloke. Tell me the truth. It was the nose, wasn't it? Oh, and such a nice one you've got. You know what they say about big noses. That's feet. Noses too. Marky, this is no time for sport. We have to find a way out of here quickly. I have just a thing, monsieur. If one of you ladies would reach into my pocket. Give it here, love. Is it sufficient, monsieur? <laughs> More than sufficient, I'd say. Upstairs, then, if you please. Are you about ready, love? You won't forget this, I tell you. This way, love. Get in here. You're in the wrong room! 
Where's the little frog gone? He's in there! With his friend! Oi! Get out of there! Oh! Hello! Okay. I think there's nudity galore in this one. Hello, monsieur. What do we do now? Oh, I think we're going to crawl across here. Okay, or not? Oh, on the ledge, duh. Now, are we going that way or are we going this way? We're not going that way for show. We're not going that way. We have intruded. Get your weapon. Let's go. Lafayette. Uh oh. They're on to us, mate. Looks like we've stirred the nest. Wait, what are we doing? Not sure I completely... understand what we're doing here. Oh, okay. We, uh, climb up there. Okay. I see what you're doing, cheeky monkey. Uh oh, our gun showing. Damn knights. You sure it's not the other way around? You know, two shorts for knights and one long for bobbies. Does it matter? Just keep your eyes open for Eva. Well, I mean, if it's knights. Rebel down! <gasps> Clear! Perhaps the rooftops are not our best path, monsieur. You may be right. We need to find another way to the hospital. Oh, 
don't know. I'm liking this gun. I found a way out. All right, let's get that. Let's get that. I trade that. Oh, I thought that was the guy. I was about to shoot him. Trop facile, hein? I sense that we are not welcome here. Keep your eyes open. We don't want to create any further commotion. Look, monsieur. God did not save this queen. Move. Lafayette, keep your head down. Take out the sniper. Absolutely, uh, Monsieur. Target down. I say, am I going to get him? Yeah, I see him on the other side. Easy. Lafayette, take the street. We. All right, so I guess I'm going to go in here. that scope definitely need that rebel neutralized we have to keep moving I imagine more rebels are on their way they blocked the way Hard to nice. Oh, that was a shotgun to the face. All right, I didn't know they were gonna come in that room. Oh shit! Uh, 
Where is he? I'm going in this building. Understood, Marky. There you go. So the shotgunners are going to want to get closer. I'm going to sit up here. No, there's another guy coming. I'm going to say, I thought I had that guy in my sights. I guess I don't. I need a more accurate gun. And that's not it. Oh, I see a shotgunner. Do that. I'm taking heavy fire. Oh, I'm out. Rebel neutralized. He's killing us. Come on. Oh, I was trying too hard. All right, that's all right. What the hell, dude? Shit is right. Jesus. Monsieur, grenadier. Great. Out of that MO2. Oh, I guess I should be down here the whole time, huh? gun back. Alright, that's a shotgunner. I definitely need to take him out.
We need to keep moving and get off the streets. Nice. A little help with the wagon, monsieur? Uh, okay. Am I going up here? Guess so. Percival. Percival, do you read me? Save your breath, monsieur. The buildings are blocking the signal. The curse of progress. Hand me your monocular. I can see our target. The hospital is two miles west. Do you see our comrades? Not yet. The overhead rail tracks seem to have collapsed here. What the hell is this guy? Wait. There. It must be them. Shall we join the soirée? Let's invite a few friends, shall we? Air Command, this is Galahad. I need response from anyone in the vicinity of Whitechapel. Air Command, this is Galahad. Thank Monsieur. You copy. We are without sanction here. The Lord Chancellor will be most displeased. Lafayette does not fancy a court martial. We'll worry about that later. Mr. Galahad, this is Sentinel-5. We are three leagues northeast of Whitechapel. Please state directives. Sentinel-5, this is Galahad. We require air support on standby. Acknowledge, Sir Galahad. We are signaling blue-red at a one-second interval. We request your visual confirmation for heading change. All right, use the monocle to signal Sentinel-5. Send Morse code. Tap. Touchpad for run it and hold it. Sir Galahad, this is Sentinel-5. We have visual confirmation of your position. Heading change to 224 degrees. Assuming holding pattern above Whitechapel in eight minutes. Acknowledge Sentinel-5. Await further orders at location. Let's go. Ah, the smell of pestilence. Your Parisian slums are more fragrant, I suppose. Mer smells like mer, monsieur. Anywhere in the world. Alright, so we're on our way to save them. <laughs> 